Visit CCG Castle .com and get 5% discount on your purchase with TCG Center 5 code. Check read the description or visit CCG Castle for more. How's it going guys? Welcome back to Pokemon TCG Center. In today's video we'll be looking at Megalakazam Celebi deck for the standard format. So Megalakazam 210 HP Psychic Pokemon. Of course it's a Mega Evolution from the Alakazam. With a Zen Force, 1 Psychic, 1 Colors Energy, 10 plus 30 more for each damage counter attached on your opponent active Pokemon. Very strong, very very strong. Um, also, Alakazam EX have that ability, Kinesis, which actually says when you play Mega Alakazam from your hand to evolve this Pokemon before it evolves, you might put two damage counters on your opponent active and three to your opponent benched Pokemon. Wow, pretty nice. Suppression, same the same uh, energy cost as the Mega Evolution, uh, put three damage counters on each of your opponent Pokemon that has any energy on it. And that's pretty much it. So that's the combo you really want to use. But since we don't have any more Dimension Wally and the Super School Pops, we really need to have some extra damage input. And I decided to roll with the Celebi with uh, Stop, prevent all effects of your opponent Pokemon's abilities done to this Pokemon. Which means that Garbodor is not going to be able, probably, to stop this leap through time. So that means only one tick. When this Pokemon is knocked out, flip a coin, if has, shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your deck. Your opponent can't take any prize card, which is just amazing. For a grass energy, we can go with the sparkle motion and put one damage counter on each of our opponent Pokemon in play, which is just amazing because with that Celebi we can easily control the board, putting damage counters on them and basically we can actually increase the damage that Zen Force can do. So basically we can take two or three turns uh, hitting with the Sparkle Motion and if our opponent is not going to be able to get rid of the Celebi, we can just easily set up enough damage counters around the board to snipe with our Mega Lekazam. Of course one Abzal is attacked with the Curse of Ice, two Shaming X for the setup and of course two King Hoopas with Scandering for that uh, EX setup. So, from other cards, I decided to roll with three copies of Dimension, a uh, Devolution Spray. So, basically, a Devolution Spray can help me to devolve my Mega Lakazam and put it into my hand so I can put it, it again on my another Lakazam. Also, two copies of Enhanced Hammer is pretty much good for this format because a lot of decks actually these days are running those special energies. One, enhanced, uh, one Escape Rope. Um, each player switch his or her active Pokemon with one of his or her Banshee Pokemon. It can definitely help a lot, trust me. Um, same as two copies of Mega Turbo. I just decided to go with two copies of Mega Turbo because Mega Lakazam can use Zen Force for just two energies. One Super Road, always good to have. Same as the four copies of Trainer's Mail, four Ultra Balls, and four V Seeker. From supporter cards, of course, I need to run one Hex Maniac because without Hex Maniac, I'm not going to be able to destroy and knock out those um, Giratina EXs. Um, also, copy of Lysander, three copies of N for that draft support, one Pokemon Ranger, of course, for Giratinas, for Glaceons, because I'm also running those Rainbow Energies in this deck. Uh, four copies of Professor Sycamore, discard your hand, draft seven new cards, we'll need to have four copies so we can have fresh hand of seven. Two copies of Skyfield, because I have pretty huge bench with my Mega Lakazams, Lakazams, Shamings, and Hoopa for that setup. And of course, if you can hit that Skyfield uh, early, turn one with the Hoopa, and we can set up those Shamings in play. If our opponent decides to counter our stadium, we can just easily remove those uh, necessary Hoopas and Shamings from play. Of course, three copies of Spirit Link, uh, Float Stone times two, so we can have free retreat. We really need to have free retreat. Um, four copies of Rainbow Energy, just because Rainbow Energy is going to uh, provide me any kind of the energy. But the most important thing, I can also use with the Rainbow Energy my Sparkle Motion. That's the biggest concern, um, because without... I mean, by dealing just pure um, Psychic Energies and one or two Tech Grass Energies, probably you're not going to be able to never use the Sparkle Motion. Of course, one Grass Energy in addition to that, because it can also be played for that sparkling motion, but it can also be used on the Mega Lakazam, and it can also be powered up with the Mega Turbo, and of course, four Psychic Energy, which means 60 cards in total. As usual, if you're looking for any of these cards, you can find them on ccgcastle.com. With TCG Center 5 code, you can get 5% discount on your purchase, so you should definitely keep that in mind. So, let's do some game tests so you can actually see how this deck works these days. So, see you in the game. Alright guys, let's do this. So, I will call the heads, and let's take a look at the opening hand. So there is a Tails, which means that probably I will start second. Um, which might not be that bad, but who knows. I really want to start with my Celebi in the active position. Um, we'll see. 
it might be Mega Mewtwo on the other side, it might be Mega Rayquaza, but I think it's Mega Mewtwo according to the sleeves. So we'll put my Alakazam in the active and uh, one another on the bench. So at least I have double Spirit Link right here. And this seems to be very nice um, for seven cards, I guess. So there is a Floatstone on the Shamaniacs and there is one Trainer's Mail for the Lysander. Okay. <clears throat> Trainer's Mail number 2, for Professor Sycamore, fair enough. As long as he don't play and I'm more than happy. So there is a Ultra Ball for Sycamore and for the Lysander and probably for the Hoopa EX. So that Hoopa EX is gonna be 4. Let's take a look. Really, if N is going to be played on that turn 1, I really will uh, lose 2 Spirit Links and Energy and this is very... Um, bad, I guess. I'm in a slight advantage against Mega Mewtwo because I can hit for uh, pretty much weakness, where Mega Mewtwo cannot hit for the weakness. So, in my opinion, I also have those Enhanced Hammers, and also Enhanced Hammers can actually help me a little bit to disrupt my opponent's hands. So there is a Ultra Ball for one Parallel City, and for one a Mega Mewtwo, so which might be for a Trubbish. Of course you want to get Trubbish as fast as you can in play, there is no doubt about that. And this is a perfect opening hand for my opponent, shaming for 6, and also Trubbish is already sitting down to the bench. And since I started second, I'm not going to be able to take advantage. Uh, even if I start first, I'm not going to be able to take advantage. No, there is an end. So I lost all my Spirit Links for the turn 1, and Professor Sycamore for 7. Okay, at least there's Ultra Ball and Enhanced Hammer, so I guess I can live with that. Um, not bad at all. Let's go with Enhanced Hammer <clears throat> and a Trainer's Mail. So with a Trainer's Mail, I can get even that Flow Stone. So it seems to be pretty good. Um, let's take a risk with the Ultra Ball for Psychic Energy and uh, for Professor Sycamore. I'm really looking forward for that Hoopa EX, but I'm also looking forward to grab that Celebi and uh, pretty much force my opponent to take some damage counters. So there we go with a uh, Hoopa EX. One more Shaming and uh, one more Alakazam. Okay, so Alakazam. And I guess I'm going to put my uh, Floatstone on my Alakazam. And this is going to be Shaming EX for uh, four extra cards. I'm really hoping to get that uh, Celebi. So there we go, there is a Celebi, and the most important thing, there is also Floatstone, which is going to be attached on my Hoopa. And right now I can go, I guess, with my Professor Sycamore for 7. So Celebi is ready for attack, um, so that's pretty good, I guess. There we go. So this is going to be a Sparkle Motion, so one damage counter to each of his... Um, to each of his Pokemons in play, and basically, let's see what he can do after that. I mean, if he can find Garbodor, then he can easily shut down my Celebi ability, so in that situation, I'm not gonna be able to uh, use my Leap Through Time. But if he missed that um, Trubbish into Garbodor for one turn, I guess I can take pretty good advantage. So there's a Shrine of Memories, and Mute the Spirit Link. Only one Psychic Energy, and this is going to be just a Shadow Shot for 30, which means that I somehow managed to survive, which is a very important thing right here. And I'm going to attach my Rainbow Energy on my Lakazam. We'll try to find somehow my... Okay, so there is M, which will work for sure. Support a card. I really want to keep my Mega Turbos um, and also Enhanced Hammer in my deck for later. Hmm. Okay. I guess I'm going to use one more time, leap through time, I guess. Or maybe, hmm, yeah, if I use my escape rock, he should probably just came in the active position with the shaming axe. So this definitely does not work. But I can maybe Ultra Ball for one of my Mega Lakazams. And uh, have that Mega Lakazam in uh, play for the next turn for that Mega Turbo play, which also might not be that bad option. Since already all of uh, his Pokemons in play have some damage counters, 
and I'm thinking about putting three damage counters on his hmm, another Mewtwo EX. Okay, so all I really need is that Mega Turbo for the knockout against his Mewtwo in the active position. That leap through time definitely does its job. So if he can knock out my Selby right now, I'm not going to be able to use my leap through time. So there's a trainer's mail for the Mega Turbo. Okay, so he might be able to use that uh, damage slot, but of course that's not going to be good. I mean, in, on the boats, uh, in the boat cases, he will take three damage hunters back. So no point of doing that. But with the Lysander and uh, damage swap, he can definitely damage swap. Um, for example, damage on my Lakazam without Spirit Link. So there is a V Seeker 4 and so no sign of the Lysander is going to happen this turn, which means that I really need to find just the energy card so I can attack. There we go, there is even a Spirit Link, Mega Turbo, Trainer's Mail, and all different cards that I can really use. So I can expect to see probably right here something like uh, Shatter Shot for the knockout, and he really want to have that Mega Mewtwo on his bench sitting and ready to attack. Which means that even if I can get something like uh, uh, Lysander, I might just... Okay, so there are two Mega Mewtwo's right now. And this is a Psychic Infinity for the knockout. Okay. Kind of confused, even if the Garbodor is in play, my ability worked, so I'm not sure what is happening. It might be a glitch, but I'm not 100% sure in that. So let's go with a, a Mega Turbo. Okay, so one energy will be attached on my a Mega Lakazam on the bench. And one energy on my Lakazam with the Spirit Link, so I also have that Ultra Ball, which means that I can grab my another Mega Lakazam right there. So let's go with the Ultra Ball for the N and for the Trainer's Mail. Oh, but actually, I don't have it. Oops. Okay, never mind. We'll take that Celebi and put it onto my bench. Never know if I will be using this card again. And a V Seeker for Professor Sycamore, so I can take seven new cards. And there is the Evolution Spray, but really don't want to use that. I'm just going to retreat on my Mega Lakazam and use my Zen Force, which is going to be uh, basically enough for a knockout. But actually I can also use that um, Trend of Memories Zen um, Suppression Attack. But we don't want to do that. So there's another Devolution Spray and a Sky Field, which means that even next turn I can basically do two different things. Retreat down to my bench with my Mega Lakazam onto my Lakazam. I uh, use Devolution Spray so I can basically um, remove uh, my Mega Lakazam and put it onto my Lakazam on the bench and spread a few more damage counters on that Shaman if he don't decide to retreat it. Uh, but there is N, so I'm going down to four cards. Still, I'm kind of confused about that leap through time and the Garbodor. I mean, Garbodor should definitely shut down his ability, so kind of confused about that. So there is another Spirit Link and a Sky Field, so at least I can remove the Stadium from play with that Sky Field. I could go even with that Suppression, but I guess I really want just to um, remove his Stadium from play and use my Zen Force. For 40, so next turn that Shaman can be actually knock it out. Also, still, still looking for that enhanced camera to be played, um, but uh, there is uh, one more. Um, okay, so there is one more energy, uh, which means that he can right now use that damage transfer. But oh, Professor Sycamore, which means that he go down to two cards and he need to take six prizes. So probably that's not, not going to be easy task um, for him. So one more energy. And yeah, he can use Psychic Infinity, but then he's going to be knocked out, or he can just use that Damage Swap. Not sure what is going to happen, so there is a Lysander, okay. Hmm, interesting. Shadow Shot. 
for 180. And my top deck is a Aggress Energy. Hmm. So how many damage I can hit? Uh, 3, 6, 9, 12. Okay, so it's enough for the knockout. Let's just use and force for the knockout. And that's gonna be pretty much it, I guess. Down to two cards. He actually did a misplay, a tiny misplay, which cost him actually uh, probably a game right here. So there is a trainer's mail for and the Megalakazam, so I can use another Megalakazam. And even if he actually can knock out my uh, Megalakazam in the active position with his Shatter Shot, which he can actually do, um, I'm going to promote my Hoopa EX with the Flowstone in the active position. We'll use after that my. Hmm, let's first see what we can get. Oh, no, no point of dealing that, so. I can basically Mega Lekazam, Mega Evolve, and use my Lysander on his Shame Nyx for last two prize cards. So basically, it's a, a GG. Yeah, definitely Celebi helped a little bit um, at that third one with that um, damage swap and the basically damage input to all of my opponent Pokemons in play. Alright guys, so this is the game number 2 and also the last game for this Megalakazam deck test. So as you can see, my starting hand contained no basic Pokemon, which means that my opponent can take one extra card for that mulligan, but hopefully I can open with my Celebi in the active position. That's pretty much the best start I could get. Mm, nope, but at least there is a enhanced camera sitting in my hand, so if the turn 1 Special energy gonna be attached. I can easily remove it with my enhanced hammer, but probably not gonna happen since there's a Kingdra with a Magma Zone. Hmm, okay. So just the Rainbow Energy as the top deck. I guess I'm going to play that and roll with my Sycamore for 7. In case of the Mega Turbo, of course, I can always put one of my energies in play. So there is a Skyfield, which is gonna be very powerful. Um, Ultra Ball right here. I can definitely tell you that for the Hoopa EX, so I can set up. Pretty strong setup this is gonna be. So there we go, Hoopa EX for um, one more Alakazam and one more Shame EX. Okay, so also one Ultra Ball might not be that bad. So I can actually put my Celebi in play. And of course, if my opponent plays Stadium, I can easily remove some of my Pokemons from play. So we'll put that Hoopa in play. Basically just to take some space on the bench. And under Shame Nyx for two cards. Well, there's just a Spirit Link. And that Spirit Link will go to my Active Alakazam. Whew, very bad hand. And when I see at that V Seeker that is actually right now sitting in my hand for something like uh, hmm, another Professor Sycamore in order to discard like uh, three V Seekers, not gonna be good later in game, that is for sure. So there's Ultra Ball for the Magna Zone, which means that you can easily get that Magna Zone in play with the Rare Candy, of course. So three more energies and uh, that Dragon Trail will knock out my Alakazam. So I wouldn't believe in that. But probably this is gonna happen. Yep. But he's probably gonna be short for like uh, 30 damage. Okay, so somehow I managed even to survive right here, so I'm kind of surprised. This is gonna be a trainer's mail. Well, pretty much I don't wanna play any in this situation. Let's just go with a Professor Sycamore for 7. So, one Mega Lakazam. You know, son of the Mega Lakazam. Okay, I guess suppression is the only chance 
to put some pressure on my opponent Kingdra. So for the next turn, I guess I can have that Rainbow Energy attachment on my Lakazam on the bench. And if I can find, oh, nice top deck, Professor Sycamore for seven. And there's even Final Fury Felt. But still, five damage counters will be 160, so that's gonna be enough for the one hit knockout if I can find Mega Turbo and Mega Lakazam. So he really needs to find another Kingdra. Or maybe, yeah, definitely another Kingdra so he can have backup attacker in play. Because with another Kingdra, he's not gonna be able to battle right here. So there's a shame in the export setup. At some point of the game, even a shame is gonna be easy target. So there is also Raikou and uh, hmm, Ultra Ball. Okay, another uh, Puzzle of Time and Hex Maniac discarded for another Kingdra EX. Not bad. Okay, so there is a knockout from that big storm. I also need to discard some of my Pokemons from the bench. So it's time to remove one Hoopa and one Shamey. In case of the Super Road, I can play them again. So the top deck is a Super Road, which is very nice top deck. Okay, so Rainbow Energy Attachment and N for the fresh hand of six. So what can I get right here? There is a Mega Lakazam. There are even two Mega Lakazams, but there is no sign of basically a Mega Turbo. Still have that Shaman X, which might give me the option to draw two more cards. So I might get that Mega Turbo in play. So let's see, Shaman X for Mega Turbo. For the knockout. Mm, still no, but trainer's mail. Yep, top deck mega turbo. Okay, so this will work for sure. So one mega turbo for one psychic energy to my mega like Zam in the active position. And right now I can use my Zen Force for 160. Exactly enough for 210 with the fighting fear bell to take the two prize knockouts. And uh, the good thing also is that his Kingdra have already 30 damage on it. So I need to find a way to put one more Mega Lakazam in play. I have a few options right here basically. First need to get that Spirit Link of course and uh, Mega Lakazam. And this is going to be exactly enough damage for the knockout. So that Kingdra right now have again 210 HP, so there's a big fisherman, which means that he can easily grab back those energy cards and put them on his Kingdra. But if he wants to attack actually with Dragon Tail, he's going to uh, have three uh, lighting energies in his hand. But probably he will have three lighting energies, and that's going to be 60, 70. Um, 160 damage from the Dragon Tail with three uh, Lightning Energies. Still, it's not going to be enough for the knockout. And he actually decided to attach two of them on the Shaman, so probably Sky Return is going to happen right here. Okay, so very nice play. Sky Return, which means that I will play uh, definitely my Escape Rope right here. There is no doubt about that. And Celebi is going to be promoted into the active position after this escape rope. So with my Celebi I will be able to put 10 damage counters on his Pokemons in play. Hmm, interesting. Let's go with the Hoopa in the active position. And the Floatstone attachment. And the N for 4. So what can I get right here? Hmm, there is Mega Lakazam but there is no sign of the Spirit Link. So I guess I can Mega Evolve and lost, uh, and lost one turn right here, so probably I'm going to do that. I'll promote my Celebi in the active position and will play my Mega Lakazam. So with my Mega Lakazam I can put two more damage counters on his um, Raikou. I really need to have some damage counters with that Raikou because he's actually an attacker. With three damage counters I can go for 
a 100 damage. Minus 20 is going to be 80, so still short for 10. There is one water energy on that Kingdra, and there we go with Magnetic Circuit. Still, I have Celebi in the active position, so even if he knock out my Celebi with Leap True Time, if I get heads, he's not going to be able to take that prize card, so we are still going to be equaled both with the four prize cards. So there is a big Professor Sycamore, which means that he uh, wasn't able to knock out my Mega Lakazam on the bench, and that's very important because if I can have Mega Lakazam next turn in play, I can easily knock out his Kingdra, and he's not going to be able to attack. So there is a Energy Poach and Fighting Fury Belt and the Floatstone. So I still don't see Energy cards. So this is going to be a big Ultra Ball for Shamniax, and this is going to be Shamniax of the six cards. Definitely a very nice play. Alright, so shaming for 6. Setup of 6 new cards. Still looking for some energies to be even able to knock on my Celebi. Basically, without energy cards, without 2 more lightning energies, he's not going to be able to knock on my Celebi. And again, in that case, I can easily retreat on my Mega Lakazam and use my Zen Force and knock out his Kingdra. So there's a Trainer's Mail. Unfortunately, just for one piece of puzzle, but he already played three pieces of puzzles uh, previously. Uh, basically, he didn't. He discarded them all with uh, supporter cards and ultra balls. Will that be pretty much it? Will he be forced to retreat? No, he actually decided to promote it, his Kingdra in the active position. So, right now, I have two options. Knock out his Kingdra. Or... Yeah, definitely want to knock out his Kingdra, so I really want to retreat. Um, so how many V Seekers? I played three V Seekers. Hmm, let's just go with the Zen Force for the knockout. Later, I will actually think uh, how to knock out his Shamniax. For that, I will definitely need a um, few more bench space, of course, and Lysander. So there is a Raikou in the active. I'm down to two prizes and there is Magnetic Circuit. So let's take a look what he can do right now. He can definitely attach tons of energies on his Raikou and maybe even knock out my Mega like as I am right here. So there is a Super Road, which means that he's going to bring back those uh, Lighting Energy and two Water Energies back into his deck. No, he actually decided to roll with the Kingdra. Alright, so Sycamore for 7. This is still a very close match, it's still not end. I definitely need to find a way to by center his shame in the active position, put some pressure on it. One more lighting energy. He can always sky return with it, so that's the biggest concern. Right now he have 130 damage right here with the Raikou in the active position and Thunderlands. So that means that I'm down to 170 damage, which means that I have only 40 HP left. Hmm. What to do next? I guess I don't have too many options. Really, I don't have too many options right there, so... I guess... One retreat cost, Flowstone on the Mega Zone, and Shame without damage counters. This hurt me a lot. This definitely hurt me a lot, so I'm going to play my VC before Professor Sycamore. Maybe I can somehow get... Who knows? Um, Rainbow Energy, so I can retreat down to my Celebi. Well, there's a Mega Turbo. But more than that, nothing else. So he played two V Seekers and I still don't see a sign of the Lysander. So let me see what I can do with my Ultra Ball for Smagalakazam and for that Celebi. Just to see what else I have left in my deck. Hmm. Two energies, Hoopa, Ultra Ball and Sycamore. We'll need to find a way to put my Absol in play. There is no doubt about that. But how I'm gonna be able to Lysander his shaming 
I guess there is no chance that I can buy Sandra Key's Shame. Since he can hit for 130, I guess I can retreat down to my Hoopa maybe. Or maybe even better onto my Selby and buy a turn right here. <clears throat> So that's the thing that I, that I will try to do. We'll retreat down to my Celebi. And without Lysander, he's not going to be able maybe to drop a prize right here, which might be very important. Still, I want to active my Absol to transfer three damage counters uh, from one of his uh, Raikos on the bench to another one. But there's a Trainer's Mail for the big Lysander, which means that he can easily Lysander my Mega Lakazan and pretty much take the knockout right here. So Thunderlands for a big 130 damage. So Hoopa is going to be promoted in the active position. This Absol is going to be activated right now. So three damage counters will be placed on the active Raikou. And this is gonna be pretty much only M. Really need that energy. No sign of the energy card. Alright, so this might be a GG here, I guess. Let's just pass the turn. Let's see what he can do. I mean, I can absorb some damage from that. Uh, Raiko on my Hoopa, since I also have that Floatstone attached to it. But there's another V-Seeker for Lysander, which means that you can Lysander my Shaming X and take the knockout. And pretty much end the game. 260, very close matchup. Alright, so... Let's do this, guys. Okay, so there's a Heads. Which means that I can start first. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, Celebi in the active position, so this looks pretty good. Also, there's a Hoopa EX, you know, which means that I can pretty much set up very quickly. But more than that, I also have that <clears throat> Flowstone sitting in my hand for the free retreat, in case I will need to play that, so definitely will attach one of my Rainbow Energy. will go with my uh, Hoopa EX for that Scandering, so I can search my deck for... Uh, oh my gosh, two of my Alakazams are actually prized. How bad is that? It's very bad, I guess. So one Floatstone onto my Hoopa, and I guess I can just Ultra Bolt for maybe, I don't know, another Celebi. So I can have double Celebi in play, and we'll go with my N. So it's going to be very hard without um, Alakazam's in play, but I will do my best. So there is a, a Spirit Link, and pretty much that's it. So for the next turn, I guess, I have Ultra Ball for my Mega Alakazam, and I also have that Devolution Spray, and a V Seeker for M. So a couple options, and also... Leafy, uh, also, my Celebi with Sparkle Motion is in the active position. That's the most important thing because I'm going to be able to put one damage counters on each of my opponent Pokemons in play. And that's the most important thing. As many Pokemons as he can bring in play, I'm going to be able to put one damage counters to each of them. <clears throat> so there is a Shame in the X. Of course, two main focus are going to be those Kingdras and Magnezone. So I really need to focus knocking out the Magnezone because Magnezone with that magnetic circuit can actually easily charge those uh, Kingdras so they can hit for tons of damage. Okay, so Ultra Ball. So this is a Ultra Ball, probably for the Magnemite. One Floatstone discarded, and uh, one Lighting Energy for the Magnemite. Alright, so really need to apply pressure on that Magnemite as soon as possible. And it's 60 HP, so if there was another um, Alakazam in my deck, probably I would be able to easily knock out this Magnemite, but unfortunately it wasn't. So I will need to battle a hard way right here. So a puzzle of time to rearrange the top three cards and uh, this is a big storm for 20 damage, which means that it's my turn. 
and a very nice top deck right here, which is a Mega Alakazam. So that means only one thing. I can put two damage counters on his Kingdra, three damage counters on his Magnemite, but the most important thing that I can do right here is a Ultra Ball. So unfortunately, Ultra Ball for double a Devolution Spray, so I can bring my Absol in play. And with the Absol, I can actually transfer two damage counters from his Kingdra down to his Magnemite. And uh, I can also use my Sparkle Motion to knock on his Magnemite. So I guess this is the best thing I can do at this moment in this game. And of course, I'm going to play my N. Probably N will help more my opponent than me. But really need to uh, find a way to get a few more cards in play. So there we go with the Trainer's Mail, which is going to give me Enhanced Hammer. So I guess I will, don't, I will not need that Enhanced Hammer in this game. And of course, this is going to be a Spark of Motion. So one damage counters to each of his Pokemon in play, and at least Magnemite is knocked out. That means that he's not going to be able to put that Magnet Zone so far in play. And there's another Alakazam. So, oh, I have a smile on my face right now when I see that second Alakazam that just enters the play, to be honest. All right, so very, very hard to battle these days with Alakazam, so there is a big super road, which means that he'll bring back that Magnemite and two lighting energies back into his deck. And there's a piece of puzzle again, so will there be just a single piece of puzzle? Yep, it looks like there's just a single piece of puzzle, and there we go with Professor Sycamore. And this is a second V Seeker that is already discarded, and there we go with another Magnemite on the bench. Okay, so really need to uh, focus my Mega Lakazams to snipe those Magnemites on the bench. Now, one Fighting Fury Belt, one Ultra Ball. This Ultra Ball might be for another Magnemite or just for another Shaman EX. Who knows? Really, it's hard to say. But I know that I'm definitely going to play my... Hmm. Definitely I'm going to play my Sycamore for the next turn after I put my Alakazam on the bench. There is no doubt about that. So, no, he actually decided to roll with one Raikou. Right okay, so I really need to focus on that Magnemite as fast as I can. So, Lysander is all I really need. I really need to find that Lysander in play. So, this is going to be a Alakazam. And I'm going to attach one of my Grass Energies on my Celebi. So, I can actually use it later in game. And this is going to be Professor Sigma for 7. Of course, with the Mega Turbos, I can easily charge my Mega Alakazams. So there we go with a Trainer's Mail, come on, give me that Spirit Link, no sign of the Spirit Link. Which means that I can just use my Mega Turbo, attach one of my energies onto my Mega Lakazam. And more than that, just use my Sparkle Motion, put one damage counters on each of his Pokemons in play. Alright. So I guess, again, I'm going to be forced to play my v Seeker for N, just because I really don't want to waste two of my Mega Lakazams, because I know that I can bring them back with the Super Road, but I think this is not a smart option. Another piece of puzzle, and another piece of puzzle that is actually not played. I mean, it's played, but not to take any cards, any resources from his Disco Pile. And another big storm just for the 20 damage, so I'm still good. Right here, to be honest, I'm going to. Hmm, I have two options right there, basically. But I'm thinking about just playing my V Seeker for N. Really don't want to waste the turn by Mega Evolution into my Mega Lakazam. Let's go with N. So, five new cards to take. And there we go. There's a big Spirit Link, which is going to help a lot right here. And of course, my Mega Lakazam. But I also have that Lysander sitting in my hand for the next turn. Of course, three damage counter is going to be placed on that. Hmm. Well, let's go with a Kingdra, because the Kingdra right now is the biggest threat. And I guess I can just easily retreat. So Celebi did a great job right here, but it's time for the Zen Force, it's time for the knockout and basically to start control this matchup um, by taking advantage. So uh, two more prizes to take, and two of them are actually Hex Maniac, which is going to be a very great card, and a Trainer's Mail. So Kingdra have 50, HP, uh, 50 damage on it and 210 HP, which means that I just need to hit for that Zen Force, and this Kingdra is going to be knocked out. So can he find Magnezone? Yes, he can. There's a Magnezone with Rare Candy, so he needs to find a bunch of energies 
to basically uh, one hit knock at my Megalakazam. How many energies? Let's count. 60, 70, 100, 130, 160, 190, 220. Well, five lighting energies will be enough to take advantage by the knockout against my Megalakazam right here. So if I lost one of my Megalakazam, that's definitely not going to be good, but there's just 160. Um, But yeah, more than that, I guess this is pretty much it. So let's go with the sky field just because we can. And let's try to get maybe... Hmm, maybe that super road. I'm really hunting that super road right here. So there is a shaming mess. And another trainer's mail. Still no sign of the super road. Okay, now never mind. We'll just play that hex maniac to counter my opponent, and we'll use my Zen Force so I can just hit for 160. Will be enough for the knockout. So I still need to take just a single prize, and to take that last prize, all I really need is to knock out his shaming on the bench. It's not going to be easy, but at least I had that Lysander thing in my hand, even if he actually retreat. Um, getting end down to one card might be a tricky, but he actually decided to pass as his turn. So yeah, there is just a Lakazam like, sitting in my hand, but more than that, pretty much nothing. We'll definitely use my um, Devolution Spray right here. Okay. And let's go with a Zen Force. So it's Zen Force for 70. The reason why I actually decide to basically... Okay, so it is GG. Alright guys, so final conclusion for this Mega Lakazam deck. Well, it's a lot of fun to play Mega Lakazam as usual, uh, even in the standard or in expanded format. So basically, with that Celebi you can put those damage counters to all your opponent Pokemons in play, and also with that Delta Stop ability which Celebi has, uh, you can also prevent all effects of your opponent abilities down to this Pokemon, so which is just amazing. And Leap Through Time can actually buy a turn uh, by basically, um, if you if you if if, you, if your opponent knock out your Celebi, you can just easily flip a coin. If you get heads, your opponent will not be able to take prize cards, and you will just shuffle Celebi and all cards attached to it back into your deck, which is just amazing. And of course, um, Hoopa and Shaman can help a lot for the setup, and Mega Lakazam can just finish the game with that Zen Force powerful attack. So once again guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more future videos. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave comments below. And of course, until the next time, stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Have a nice day and uh, goodbye.